Mandra Dekwami is a group of female journalists and um, data experts. Well, not all of them are data experts, but you have to have an interest in reporting news with data. And um, basically what we do is we write on health, development, women, and cultural issues. And um, we write with the um, data visualizations from conducting interviews, from doing researches, from credible sources where we can get them data, which we put as part of our stories, representing them in infographics, with the pictorials, and other multimedia uh, and forms, which we use along with data, photographs, and video. The Niger Data Ladies Project started in 2017 as a way of empowering female journalists. I mean, we know that um, a lot of female journalists are not empowered in the sense that they're limited to reporting on certain stories and certain um, bits. But being a part of the Niger Data Ladies allows female journalists access to funding, access to other journalists on the platform they can collaborate on stories with. They can also get funding to do stories they otherwise would not be able to do or that the uh, newsrooms would not be able to fund you know, naturally. Niger Data Ladies started in April 2017 as a way of empowering women to report on data-driven issues, to report using data and to promote development issues, um, issues on health, agriculture and women in general. So basically you are you know, on the platform where you have access to a network of specialists who can help you visualize your data, who can help you do illustrations with data that you use, who can help you produce multimedia stories, you know, but you are telling the narratives yourself. You also get to do training from the other part of the, the Code for Africa, which is the platform on which Niger Data Ladies actually exists. So as part of that uh, platform, you get to be a part of the Hackers session, which happens um, once a month. And it's a platform where you, treat, where, where you have training, a one-day training on different data tools and, and um, um, data searching platforms. So you're exposed to those kind of things to help you you know, do stories that have a multimedia approach and caters to the need of um, various audiences and readership. The benefits of um, being on the Niger Data Ladies Project are a number. And um, first and foremost, for me personally being on the platform, I would say that it's given me the opportunity to report on a good number of stories which I ordinarily would not have gotten funding for my office for. Or, if I had suggested those stories as an idea, they may have been given to somebody else because they would think that having me travel that far would not be convenient for the office and all of that. But the fact that I'm not asking them for money doesn't put any kind of pressure on them. I'm just going to ask them to give me time of work to go and do a story. So, so far I have done about... Uh, five or six stories. They are all long-form reporting and two of them have brought about um, action from governments as a result of my publishing those stories. They were on women's women's health and um, um, their access to maternal health care. There's been a paradigm shift you know for them and they now have access free medical treatment in hospitals as a result of that. Then also um, it's also helped me meet other female journalists and at the moment we're in the process of collaborating to do a story on women and business in Nigeria. So we're, 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 that's still work in progress but that's, that's an opportunity that being on the Niger Data Ladies has provided for me which I probably would not otherwise have, have, have benefited. Also I'm able to bring other journalists I know can push the, the aim of Niger Data Ladies forward and um, so they're reporting on other issues from across the country depending on what their interests are. So these are the, the Niger Data Ladies is also building a unique brand of female journalists 
people are doing more in-depth stories that are solutions based, that are data driven, but more than anything else, that are get, get towards creating impact. So these are the benefits that I mean I have gained and other Niger data ladies have gained from being a part of the platform.